Let's discuss how you can find the location of vertical asymptotes given a function. For example, the function f of x equals x plus 1 over x plus 2 will have a vertical asymptote at any x value that yields a 0 in the denominator but not the numerator. So in this case, the value of x that will yield a 0 in the denominator, I'll set the denominator equal to 0 and find that I get x equals negative 2. Negative 2 does not yield a 0 in the numerator, so that means that this function, if I would sketch the curve, there will be a vertical asymptote, a vertical line that is technically not part of the graph, that the function will get closer and closer to from the left in some fashion, and closer and closer to from the right in some fashion, yet never touch. The graph of this function uh, is now pictured here on the right side of the screen, and you can see that at x equals negative 2, the line x equals negative 2, there will be an imaginary dotted line that this graph will get closer and closer to, but never touch. In the function f of x equals x over x squared plus x minus 12, this is a simplified function, and the denominator is a quadratic. This means there will be two vertical asymptotes, because setting x squared plus x minus 12 equal to 0 We'll have two solutions. This factors to x plus 4 times x minus 3 equals 0. There will be two vertical asymptotes, one at x equals negative 4 and one at x equals 3. On the graph, x equals negative 4. This vertical line is a line that sets a boundary on the graph. The graph never gets to x equals negative 4. It will get closer and closer to it from each side but never touch it. There's another vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Vertical asymptotes are found by setting the denominator equal to 0. They occur at any x value that yields a 0 in the bottom, but not the top of a fraction.